So viewers, today in this session, I am going to talk to you about the CO2 cylinders. These are very, very special cylinders uh, which work very beautifully on class B and class C fires. However, they are very special. We need to understand our CO2 cylinders before we even start using them. So to begin with, if you look at this cylinder, it has many components, many parts which comprise the whole uh, fire extinguisher. Now this fire extinguisher has an agent body, it has some external components and there are some internal components which of course you cannot see over here. So let me talk to you a little about the components and uh, in this discussion I will discuss many other things such as the discharge mechanism etc. Now this body of the uh, fire extinguisher is made of uh, mild steel and in certain cases also of aluminium. Let me first talk about the internal components. Inside this agent cylinder it contains the agent which is carbon dioxide and it is in a liquid form at 70 bar. This fire extinguisher does not need a separate uh, propelling agent. Now what does it contain inside uh, apart from CO2? It contains or it has a precisely fitted dip tube inside through which the agent is thrown towards the nozzle. Now let us look at the other components that are there. To begin with, let me talk about the body of this fire extinguisher. The body of this fire extinguisher is PESO certified because this is very highly pressurized. Let me help you understand the high pressure that is there in CO2. CO2 inside the cylinder is at 70 bars. The pressure which is there in your Coca-Cola bottles or any such fizz drink bottles is approximately 0.5 bars. The pressure inside a normal LPG cylinder is about 2.5 bar. In comparison, this is 70 bars. And therefore, to be able to contain that stress of 70 bars for a very long period of time, the cylinder needs to be strong and tough. Therefore, the thickness of the sheet with which this cylinder is made, the steel sheet with which the cylinder is made, is to be uh, taken into consideration when this is being manufactured. Because the cylinder sheet is thick, it adds to the weight of the cylinder. Now, this is a 2 kg cylinder and the weight, the actual gross weight of the cylinder is approximately 5.7 kgs. Now, let me show you another few variants of the same carbon dioxide cylinders. These are 4.5 kg cylinders. 4.5 kg cylinders, but the gross weight of these cylinders is approximately 18 kgs. Similarly, we have a 6.5 as well as a 22.5 cylinder. Let us understand more about the cylinder before we come back to these larger sizes. Now, we all understood that this cylinder sheet thickness has to be big. That means it has to be uh, much more thicker than the normal cylinders because it is under pressure for a very long time. Now, inside, as I told you, there is a dip tube which allows the agent to flow out towards the um, nozzle of the cylinder that is this horn that you can see however at the neck of the cylinder you will find that, that there is a valve now this valve is covered by a protective cap normal cylinders would have a pressure gauge on the valve which would show the pressure of the cylinder in this case, that is in carbon dioxide's case, it is not possible because this cylinder contains carbon dioxide in a liquid form and getting an accurate or a approximate um, pressure on the gauge is not possible. It is not easy to measure that. What ceasefire has done here is given you a ready used mechanism which I will talk about in a very very short time. Now. What we have is a high pressure PESO certified valve which is there at the neck of the cylinder. Now here you can see that there is a squeeze grip which is there to activate the cylinder. So what do we do? We press the squeeze grip but before pressing that we remove the safety pin that is here. 
any person could uh, just for the sake of trying it out could press the squeeze grip and render the cylinder useless the fire extinguisher useless therefore there's a safety pin and this safety pin can be pulled out easily with a gentle tug of your finger to activate the cylinder we will use this horn use the squeeze grip as as we keep pressing the squeeze grip the carbon dioxide will come out of the cylinder and move out of the horn onto the fire now here what is the use of this uh, ready used mechanism see there is no way to find out whether the cylinder is is worthy of use at that point of time is ready for use at that point of time or not except we can weigh it so we know what the gross weight should be once the cylinder is charged or filled so you can keep a weighing scale close by and every time you need to use a cylinder you can weigh it however a better way or a easier way that cease fire has offered to us is that it has given this ready use mechanism so as soon as you grip the um squeeze grip after pulling out the safety pin and press it down the mechanism changes and from the needle being at the ready it will move to the used now the agent will flow out through the valve into the hose the tiny hose that you can see here and onto this discharge nozzle which is shaped like a horn here if you can see the mouth of the horn is of course white which allows for easy dispersal of the agent in the form of gas so when you want to use the cylinder the co2 cylinder what you do is remove the pin press the squeeze grip and be ready because with your working hand you will need to hold the nozzle from this side now you see do not touch the horn because the the co2 gas is coming out at a very very fast rate and that causes a vibration which may cause you to suddenly leave the uh, fire extinguisher or it may slip from your hand so hold it from here and you can with the sweeping action of the cylinder you can put out the fire wherever it is now what else is there you see the horn is very differently made cease fire believes in doing a lot of research on the kind of nozzles that it creates for different fire extinguishers and that is one of the reasons that our products work very well and give you the best of efficiencies when they are used for any kind of fire now this as you can see is mounted on a base but because the cylinder is very heavy you can see it is on a base with a stand on the side and there is a clamp which holds it steadily so here you can see that the base is black in color that means it denotes that it is carbon dioxide you can see here it says carbon dioxide uh, cylinder so you can get to know what is the size and what is the type from this over here itself so you can see here portable extinguisher carbon dioxide type uh, which is mentioned now this is the instruction label and on this instruction label you will find all sorts of information about this product and its usage so this talks about the type of cylinder and the size the fire rating it gives an instruction on how to use this cylinder it further tells you what kind of fires can this fight and therefore it says class b c and electrically charged fires on the side over here this talks about the model number it talks about the uh, you know the um, few features about this particular product for example it says the working pressure is 70 bars uh it also gives you the gross weight and the net weight of the cylinder it talks of the maintenance how would you maintain instructions on maintenance and instructions on the precautions that you should keep when using this fire extinguisher here you can also see that it contains uh, it has a small label which talks of uh, how this fire extinguisher should be positioned when it is in use or when it is being stored on the other side here you will find the um, certifications that is indian as well as global certifications that this fire extinguisher has so here i have spoken to you about a particular kind of fire extinguisher for the for this carbon dioxide variant 
As I did tell you, the carbon dioxide cylinders are very heavy because the sheet, metal sheet which is used to make, manufacture these has to be thick. So looking at the fact that these are heavy, there are many things that ceasefire has kept in consideration. The first and the foremost is that after the 2 kg cylinders that are there, the 4.5, the 6.5 and 22.5 cylinders are all wheeled. When I say wheeled, I mean that if you can see here, this is a 4.5 cylinder, it has a wheel. Similarly, these two, that is the 6.5 and the 22.5 are mounted on trolleys. The second thing that you can look at here is that in the cylinder in, that you can see over here, uh, this cylinder is not made out of steel, it is made out of aluminium. Aluminium is a very strong metal but is lighter than the uh, steel. So aluminium being a lighter material uh, makes this cylinder body much lighter than the mild steel bodies that are these other variants that we have. Now here before we move on to other uh, parts of the cylinder over here, I would like to bring to your notice that there are two different types of discharge mechanisms. The first is the squeeze grip. The second is the wheel type. Now in the squeeze grip as I showed you with the 2 kg you need to pull out the pin and you just need to depress or press the squeeze grip for the system for the cylinder to get activated. In the other case when I am talking about the wheel type you have a housing or a cap protective cap above the valve. All you need to do is let me just turn this. These are heavy to move so therefore the wheels. So here is the pin. You will tuck out the pin and then move this cap anti-clockwise for the system to get, for this fire extinguisher to get activated. Either when you press the squeeze grip or turn it anti-clockwise, the ready used indicator will change to used. Now in these, you can see in these cylinders, let me just take one of them and let me pull out the horn or the nozzle. You will find that here are the nozzles. These nozzles are longer. The horn is there for each one of them. So the nozzle is in the form of a horn for ease of dispersal of the agent. Each one of these comes with a tubular insulator tube which is there placed on the uh, end of the uh, hose. The reason is that the gas which comes out of the cylinder is freezing cold. That means in case you come in contact with the hose or with the horn, you can get a freeze bite or of what you call as a frost bite. So you need to hold a hose from this insulated tubing. You do not touch the horn in this case. Now let me show you one of the bigger sizes also. Now this is a 22.5 size uh, cylinder. Let me show you the working because the working is slightly different. As you can see, I am taking out the hose. I am coming in front to show you. The hose is quite long. So what you would do, you would pull out the pin. You would twist the protective cap anti-clockwise. But this does not start the or activate the fire extinguisher. To activate the fire extinguisher, you have a on and off lever. So when you want to use this, you can use the lever, move it towards the on to start it and push it back towards the stop to stop the flow of the agent. Now the beauty of this long uh, hose that you are seeing is, we all know that these are heavy cylinders. If I want to take them to the site of fire, well I can do so because this has wheels. It is on a trolley and it has wheels. So maneuverability is not a problem. However, it does not stop this cylinder from being heavy. It is slightly heavy. Even with the wheels it is heavy. So what we do is that we have given you this long hose. When there is a fire, 
this long pose allows you to move around easily without having to drag the cylinder behind you wherever you go so it makes your movement much easier than if it had a small pose let me summarize what i have told you we are talking about the uh, extinguishers for carbon dioxide carbon dioxide cylinders come in various variants one is the mild steel variant the other is the aluminium variant because these cylinders uh, have the have the carbon dioxide stored at a pressure of 70 bars the thickness of the uh, cylinder is very very important and it plays a big role in keeping the cylinder safe it needs to uh, contain that much amount of pressure for a very long period of time that makes the cylinder heavy therefore cease fire has taken certain measures to make this cylinder uh, easy to use for example the first thing we have a variant which is an aluminium variant where the body itself is much lighter than the mild steel variant the second important thing that we note here is that anything which is beyond the 2 kg cylinder is on wheels as the 4.5 variants the 6.5 and the 22.5 are on a trolley the pose for these are long because there is no way of measuring the pressure within these cylinders or knowing whether the cylinder is ready for use or not cease fire has given us the ready use mechanism as well with the twist of the protective cap on the valve or a squeeze of the squeeze grip you can easily uh, get to know because the ready use mechanism will move from the ready mark to the used mark so this is the total range of the co2 cylinders and i'm sure you will understand that these cylinders are uh, very effective on class b class c and esf however when using these cylinders one has to be very very cautious because they are at a 70 bar friends please note that when the cylinder is in use the flow of the agent should be away from the body you should ensure that there is nobody in or coming in the uh, flow within the flow of the uh, agent plus at the same time you should hold the tubing from this tubular insulation which is available over here and be very very careful when using the co2 cylinders